Hello, my name is Bert Boerland and I'm your host on Bert's Screencast for the day. And today I'm going to talk about how to um, how I make these screencasts. I got a tweet from uh, Geert. What software are you using for Bert's Screencast of the day? And today I'm going to answer. The short answer is ScreenFlow. An excellent program uh, with one pitfall. Um, oh, actually two. I bought it for a lot less than this. I think I bought it in a Mac Heist bundle. Uh, that's basically 15 software packages in a uh, in a package with a huge deal like 20 euros or something. Um, the only pitfall I found out is that um, uh, at a certain time I got a uh, pop-up. Do you want to install the update? And the update was great, like this one you see on screen. Um, flat UI, better support for dual monitors, etc. And the pitfall was that I had to re buy again the a license and I couldn't download the old software anymore so I had to go via support and uh, uh, reinstall the old version but apart from that it's an excellent uh, it's an excellent program let me we're gonna do inception now because I'm gonna show you a screen flow of a screen flow so this is a screen flow I made um, here's the window of, of the output um, here are the actions you can do for the different things and here is a timeline for in this case um, audio and video and, uh, 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 and, uh, and, the, and the screen so this is this this part um, I'm gonna draw something is with this? my eyes closed and then I'll and this part is the screen behind it you can do more things and you can do actions um, but basically uh, that's where it starts. This is weird. I'm gonna record something that's not gonna be used for anything other than for a demo. Um, I'm gonna draw something with my eyes closed and then I'll try to make something of it. That's a game I played a lot with my kids. It helps you see stuff there is and there isn't. So here it goes. So um, here I want to do a call out. So first I select the... Uh, I'm gonna do a short walkthrough, right? I'm gonna say I want to add a video action. You see here a yellow uh, 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 point. See stuff there is, and there isn't. So here it goes. And the yellow part is the transition of what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to place myself here. I'm going to give myself minus 40 degrees on the Z axis. Do some reflection on it. That's okay. So if I go back, there is, and there isn't. So here it goes. And you see there's the transaction. Okay, I drew this. Let's make something of it. You see a green transaction now. And when the green transaction is for the audio, you can do that as well. Usually I make the this a bit bigger so you can't see it. You can't see the uh, stuff that's not important. Uh, what else can we do? For example, if we go here and uh, for example, you want to do a call out on the mouse button, then we'll say OK, follow the mouse, make the rest a bit more and zoom in so we can follow the mouse give it some border um, pixel and of course orange the happy color uh, give it a shadow well that's ugly to be quite honest and during this period um, the mouse will be bigger and there you see it and so if you want to give focus to something that's handy what else can you do um, you can add text um, change the uh, voiceovers uh, change the uh, audio here as well and here so um, there there are other uh, software packages like this this one is working fine for me I got a legal uh, uh, I, got, I got a valid uh, um, entity which is good for me so I hope you like this this is how I make my screen uh, uh, screencast and then I click here and usually I split it here oh I didn't show that say here's an error and you could do a split here and do a split here oh there's already a split you could do a split here and cut this part out for example because you don't want to see it and you can do here the same. Um, that's basically the actions you, you do usually. If you want to do real post-production, I usually go to iMovie, which is the poor man's uh, uh, 
visual editing tool for video. If you want to go beyond that, there are lots of tools as well on the Mac, but that's fine enough for me. It, somehow, if you export it, you can save it, of course. It always goes to 50%. Uh, I'll have to put it on 100%, that's all. So then I'll export it. Um, anything else? I think that's about it. You can do a lot of other stuff, but that that's something you have to Google for yourself. Okay, I hope this answered it, and I wish you a, a, a good night. Or actually, this will be live tomorrow, a good morning. And I'll see you uh, the day after, for you tomorrow, for me, in two days. See ya.